setting up your Novation launch keys, launch pads, and other MIDI controllers is fairly simple, just like the audio setup for our Focusrite interfaces. We're going to come up to the Studio One Preferences menu, and we're going to go ahead and select external devices. As you can see, I've set this up to expedite this video here and get right to the point. If you don't have any MIDI controllers set up, the first thing you want to do is add. And of course, you've got options here in the left pane with all of these other manufacturers, including Novation. I like to set these up manually because sometimes I give my MIDI controllers specific names. As you can see, once this is all set up, this is how it looks. The manufacturer and device name, that combination will show up here in the device model and make sure that your MIDI channels for your corresponding device, if you want those set to a specific MIDI channel, that that is selected here. The launch keys send on all MIDI channels, so I don't have to select one or two or three or a specific because it doesn't send. I can't change that at the device itself, so I want to make sure that it sends on all channels. The launch keys also do not come pre-programmed with a native script for Studio One. That's a technical way of saying that a lot of the Studio One parameters and direct functional commands are not programmed into the launch key itself. So what we want to do instead of utilizing the or setting the launch key in control option, we're going to use the launch key MIDI control for both receive from and send to. And this will make sure that not only does general MIDI information get passed, which is pretty much what all MIDI controllers send, note on data, note off data, system exclusive, uh, active sensing and all that, but also that we can MIDI map directly our faders, our potentiometers, knobs that is, and the buttons on the launch key to whatever parameters in Studio One that will allow for remote control from the launch key or MIDI controller that we're using. So once that's all been set up, go ahead and click OK and your MIDI devices will show up here. And as you can see, if you need to go in and make modifications, that window is accessible by double clicking. And of course, you can make the necessary changes. Don't forget, once you do that, to click OK. So they immediately translate to that MIDI control window so Studio One can pick up on any changes that you've made. If you're having any issues at this point or your MIDI controller did not show up, your launch key, your launch pads, or other Novation devices, please get in touch with us. We want to help you out with that. Thanks again for tuning in and more to follow.